we're looking at unit conversions okay so we're looking at metric unit and capacity and all that but i'll stick with the easy ones so for example we're going to look at it that's why i split the board into three calling it volume area and length don't worry about that you understand why so first let's start off with easy ones changing from millimeters to centimeters okay so from millimeters to centimeters if you take your rulers you'll find out that for every 10 millimeters so every 10 millimeters you get one centimeter on your rulers so what this means is that if i'm moving from millimeters to centimeters because the number here is small you have to divide by 10 but if i'm moving in the opposite direction this way okay so from centimeter to this because the answer here has to be big you multiply it by 10 okay that is how we change millimeters to centimeters then we could have centimeters to meters okay you can see again that on centimeters to meters every hundred centimeters will give you one meter every hundred so what it means is that if i'm moving from centimeter to meters because the number here is small you have to divide by 100 and if i'm moving from the direction of meters to centimeters i need to multiply by 100 because i want my answer to be bigger then we can move from meters to kilometers okay again a thousand meters would give me one kilometer so if i'm moving from meters to kilometers because the number here has to be small you divide by 1000 and if i'm moving from kilometers to meters because the answer has to be big multiplied by a thousand that is how you convert your unit now let's come to area and i'll do examples after that i'll clean it and do examples so if i want to change from millimeters squared then to centimeters squared what this means is that look at this when it was just millimeter it was 10 so if it's squared squared means it's millimeters times millimeters okay so here millimeters is 10 so if it's 10 times 10 here this is the same as centimeters times centimeters so it is 1 times 1 so in this case this becomes 100 this becomes 1 so when it's in square what it means is that if I'm moving from millimeters to centimeters instead of dividing by 10 this time you will divide by 100 as I have proved here the same applies to this instead of multiplying by 10 you will multiply by 100 it follows the same principle for that so I will show all the working out in this one so it means centimeters squared to meters squared you follow the same principle 100 times by 100 okay so if I'm moving here we are doing a hundred times a hundred and remember that it will be four zeros if you do hundred times hundred that would be four zeros so it means instead of dividing by hundred we will divide by ten thousand okay and here we will multiply by ten thousand so all it means is square the numbers here again meter squared to kilometer squared is a thousand times a thousand okay so meters is thousand times thousand how many zeros do you see here six so it means if you are moving from here and this side to that side okay i'm moving a bit faster because i'm running out of time that would be divide by one million because there are six zeros and then here multiply by one million six zeros and that is your conversion the same applies to the volume 
If I'm moving from millimeters cubed to centimeters cubed, millimeter was 10. So in this case, cubed means 10 times 10 times 10 because it will be millimeter times millimeter times millimeter. Okay? The same applies to this. It will be 1 times 1 times 1 because it's centimeter times centimeter times centimeter. So 10 times 10 is 100 times that is 1,000. So what it means is that in volume, 1,000 millimeters gives you 1 centimeter cube. So therefore here, instead of dividing by 100, divided by 1,000. Then here, instead of multiplying by 10 or 100, multiply by 1,000. Follow the same principle for centimeter to, to meters and the same principle for that. It's just the zeros that you are increasing. So from centimeter cubed to meter cubed, I'm going to add two extra zeros because it's 100 times 100 times 100. So that would become six zeros. Okay? And the same thing, you will multiply by six zeros. Then follow the same principle, meter squared to kilometer cubed, sorry, meter cubed to kilometer cubed. Meter is from here, it was 1,000. So it's going to be 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000. There are nine zeros there. So to this side, you will multiply by a billion, nine zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there are more zeros there. So usually you don't get a question from meter cube to kilometer cube. Then here, divide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is unit conversions. All you have to remember is just remember the length one. When it says area squared, then square the numbers. If it says key, then you know what to do. So let's do example on this side for each one of them. And that will be the end of the video. Okay, just try and remember the simplest one. So for example, convert or change Ten millimeters square to centimeters square. Okay, so it's ten millimeters square. The number you don't look at, you look at the unit millimeters square. Millimeters square. We know that ten millimeters equals one centimeter. So if it says square, then it means I need to square this. So that would be a hundred millimeters equals one centimeter square. Okay, and we said if you are moving from millimeters to centimeters, the number has to be smaller. So it means I have to divide. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to divide this one by 100. Okay, because it's squared, so I have to divide. And if I'm moving from this, I have to multiply. So here I'm going this direction, so I have to divide. So the answer would be 10 divided by 100, which is the same as 0 0.1 centimeters squared. Okay, so that is an example there for you. Let's do one example again. So this time, let's move from this. So let's say change. Okay, so I'm going to change 120 okay centimeters cubed to let's say meters cubed so i'm doing the volume so remember from there we are saying that if i'm moving from centimeter cubed to meters cubed it means i have to divide by one million so all i have to do is to have 120 divided by one million okay and why is it one million is 1 million because centimeter to meters is 100. Then I do it again, another 100 and another 100. So you're doing 100 cubed. So if you like, you can check it. 
100 cubed on your calculators would give you 1 million as I have over there on the board. So you 120 divided by 1 million. Okay, and this would give you, so the zero will cross out the zero. Okay, and you have one, two, three, four numbers, and we have two numbers here, so that'll be 0, 0.0. Okay, so if you don't know how to do this, you can easily, so this will go to standard form, but I don't want to do that. I can easily show you how quickly to do that without a calculator. So you have 120 divided by 1 million. Okay. Write your 120 first, put a, a decimal point at the end. Now look at this, there are six zeros, so I'm going to move six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These hats have numbers under, but these hats doesn't have any numbers. So it means I'll write one, two, three. This is where my decimal point is now, and we bring another zero so it means it will be 0 0.000 so 0 0.00120 but you can ignore the zero at the end and just write it as this so this becomes millimeters cubed so this is how we do unit conversions i'm not going to go into capacities where we do a liter and centimeter cube they are all there you can look for that one but for now i teach only this and I hope it helps you in doing your exams or revision. Thank you.